kids, it's Mrs. Murphy and it's time for reading. In today's lesson, we're going to go back and reread Why Living Things Need Home. But before we read, we're going to talk about some of the power words that were in our story to help us understand it better. Then we'll set a new purpose for reading today. But first, let's start with the power words. Our first word is living. Say it with me, living. Something that is living is alive. For example, ducks are living things that can fly, swim, and walk. Our next word is weather. Say it with me, weather. The weather describes what the air is like outside. The weather can be sunny or it can be rainy. Our last word is young. Say it with me, young. An animal's young are its babies. For example, puppies are a dog's young. Now that we talked about the power words, let's talk about why we're rereading our story. Today, you're going to help me reread and look for the details that are the most important. You see, the thing is, sometimes authors include things that are not so important because it helps make the story or book more fun and interesting. It's important that you are able to pull out the most important details so you can really understand your book. All right, let's get reading. What is a home? A home is a place where something lives. There are different kinds of homes. Living things and homes. People and other animals are living things. Living things need homes. Some animals find homes. This bear lives in a cave. Some animals build homes. This bird lives in a nest. Hmm, let's think about which detail is the most important on this page. Some animals find homes is most important. This is because it tells about lots of animals, not just one bear. Some people build homes too. This person lives on a boat. Why do living things need homes? Homes keep living things safe. Homes keep living things safe from the weather. This page has a text feature called a subtitle. It's not the title of the book, but it is the title of the section of the book. This subtitle says, why do living things need home? That tips you off to important information. In this section, you should be learning why things need homes. Homes keep animals safe from other animals. Homes keep animals warm and dry. Why might an animal need to be safe from other animals? Well, other animals might be trying to hunt it for food. How do living things use homes? Some living things sleep in their homes. Foxes sleep in their homes. Some living things eat in their homes. Birds bring food to their nests. How does this picture show a living thing eating in its home? It shows a spider eating another bug in its web. A spider's web is its home. Some living things care for their young in their homes. People care for their young in their homes. Thanks for looking for important details with me. Next time you read an informational book, see if you can find subtitles to help you find the most important details. Thanks for learning with me. If you like this story, don't forget to like and subscribe.